Hey guys, welcome to Boxing Squared for boxing news and views from around the internet. Junior Farr is set to appeal his knockout loss to Lucas Brown, claiming that he was hit with unintentional fouls. So what we'll do is we'll get to Farr's manager, Mark Cadell, confirming this with a few comments. And how about we take a look? Let's rock and roll some of the footage uh, back and forth just to see what really happened. Maybe he does have a case at least for one of the punches, but you can see here on screen. So here is the headline from a uh, New Zealand media outlet going down to his manager. So Farr's manager, Mark Cadell, confirmed to stuff he would be appealing the knockout loss to the Victorian Boxing and Combat Sports Commission. And then it says, not attributed, both of Brown's blows that floored far appeared to hit him behind the ear towards the back of the head. And we will test that because I'm not so sure about the first punch that really discombobulated far. So uh, Mark Cadell says, they were not intentional fouls, but they were telling. Junior's future is involved here, and we owe it to him to try get the result overturned. And he says Cadell believes the fight should be recorded as a technical draw. Well, just on that, I'm pretty sure um, if it was to happen before four rounds, it would just be a no contest, but it would be a technical draw after four completed rounds. That's my sort of uh, memory of the rules and how it works in these sort of unintentional foul, unintentional foul situations. But by the by, they're looking for the result to basically be overturned and uh, changed into something else. So he says, initially, I thought he had hurt his shoulder. We were surprised at how long Junior took to drop. It was such a slow topple. Well, that's because his brain was completely scrambled by a punch that looks like it was to the side of the head. And before I comment on the veracity of what they're looking to do and whether it could be successful, let's take a look. So just I've um, brought it up really close and uh, expanded it, slowed it down on my Adobe Premiere Pro. So let's just rock and roll this. So this is the moment before. You can see the punch coming in and it lands. So that is not the back of the head. It's certainly on the side of the head, but it looks to be, you know, in front and catching some of the air. Let's just have another look. I know some people will have, I, I saw a lot of people saying both blows were illegal, that the first one, which is this one, some people thought it hit him on the neck or the back of the head. I don't believe this is the, the back of the head as such. So to me, this looks like it's the side of the noggin. Uh, and obviously he was shook up by this, but I guess, you know, it, we don't have to just rely on this first one, but we'll just have to take another look. So I'm interested in where you think that hit and whether that was an illegal blow, because I'm not so sure. I don't necessarily think this one was uh, an illegal blow, a rabbit punch, but the second one, I think it is more clear cut and maybe they've got a bit of a leg to stand on. So that punch does look like it is coming to the back of the head, more the sort of neck region. But at that stage, it looked like Junior Farah's stiff breeze would blow him over. I was surprised that the fight was uh, able to continue. So that is the, the moment of impact where the punch is. And yeah, that is the back of the head, more of the neck. And he was floored. And then obviously it was it was all over. So perhaps they do have a case with the second punch. Not so sure about the first. But I guess the problem now becomes is, well, what's going to happen? I remember Junior Far, sorry, Lucas Brown complaining about uh, rabbit punches and unintentional fouls, or I think he was saying they were deliberate fouls against Paul Gallen. And he was shouting into the wind. No one really wanted to listen or was listening. He basically sort of said, look, this is what happened. And you make of it what you will in terms of um, Brown and um, Gallon that performance looked like Lucas Brown got bum rushed and got taken out of there he says he got uh, hit with fouls and that that shouldn't count and this is what they're saying here my view is that the counterclaim could be Junior Farr was so scrambled from this first punch I mean there was certainly an argument to say that the fight shouldn't have continued and perhaps this is a sort of claim they would mount if there was to be some sort of hearing or some sort of investigation into this but I think generally with these sorts of situations, nothing happens.
and he does make some points that this is um junior's future here etc we owe it to him to try and get the result overturned well we'll see what happens but they are going to go for this they say that there's some unintentional um fouls and i mean i guess lucas brown just throwing in those looping shots uh, the second one I, I know some people have certainly argued did junior far turn into it and he did sort of turn his head knowing something was coming but that did hit him in the neck first one for me though does look like it's more a legitimate blow i mean that doesn't look like the back of the head there it's on the side of the head and looks to be at least mostly in front of the ear so make of that what you will but i guess in terms of the what next well we'll see what happens but uh, after the fight junior far posting to social media see here such is life thank you to those who have messaged me i'm okay i'll be back better than ever i believe in me hashtag team far lucas brown pictured with junior far after the fight at marvel stadium in australia and because so far as like six foot five so brown previously has been known and listed as six foot five what is he is he more like sort of six foot three or something yeah certainly seeing them this week got me questioning how tall um lucas brown really is uh and obviously uh, also at the the fight you can see lucas brown he was on a vibe as he says here uh, one of the bigger wins of his career especially pretty late in the day uh, no one really expected him to pull this off and uh, a big upset and i was hearing that first round stoppage for lucas brown was paying something ridiculous about 90 to 1. but junior far looking to bounce back and potentially to try get this uh, result overturned will he be successful i'm not so sure sometimes these things get squared away and nothing really happens drop a comment loud and often hit like hit subscribe follow me on twitter boxing underscore squared i'm out